Hey guys, welcome to another one of our videos. I'm the Worm, this is the Problem. We're going to be doing another one of our DIY liquids, which is from vaporous.com.my. We did receive this, these liquids uh, free of charge, but it will not affect our review on these liquids. They will be a true and honest review, as always. Um, today we are going to be vaping uh, orange bubblegum. This is 12 milligrams strength, as all the other ones have been. Orange bubblegum flavoured, DIY brand, premix. 73 mix. 7030 PG VG. Uh, I think that is all the info. Oh, cost is 15 Malaysian ringgit or about £3.25, four and a half US dollars. Don't quote me on this, it depends on exchange rate and god knows what else. But ish. But that's about the price of these e which is pretty damn good. Um, take into account they're in Malaysia, so shipping charges may be slightly more. Um, but that is what we are doing today. I have primed this. This is an A7 running on the Vamo with a two point something uncoil, depends on what the Vamo decides it wants to read out today. A little bit hit and miss. <laughs> um, been a wee bit hit and miss, but um, no, it's all good. We are running on, according to this, 3.2. It ain't 3.2. Um, I, <laughs> I know it isn't 3.2 because I wrapped it. Um, so yeah, imagine that's what we're getting on to. I'm going to work flat whilst I prime this up a bit. Uh, yeah, we will be having the link to the site, oh, the address over there. We will be having the flavour up here. Links will be down below. We do have Twitter and Facebook. I can't remember the link because we only made them the other day, but Mr. Proton does know him. He has known them, so we'll he shout will him out the end of the shout him out in a minute once he's had a little vape. Um, but be, please feel free to follow us on there, but they will be linked down there as well, so you can come over there and chat to us. Uh, we also have Skype as well, which you can... We've shouted out in quite a few of our videos now. I mean, I am Kamikaze Worm, capital K, A-M. A-K-A-Z. E E I can't remember. underscore worm. It's what the fuck? Well, <laughs> honestly, he doesn't even know his own Skype name. Well, it's not very often I learn my own Skype name. It's like learning your own phone number. Why would you be calling yourself? I want to point <laughs> out that he has shouted out that Skype name in about 15 other videos without issue before. Um, yeah, but I did forget the capital K and capital W for the capital for the Kamikaze and the worm. So. Some of you may have been having issues trying to find me, but there we go. That's probably why. Case sensitive. Um, yeah, guys, off the bat, for me, this is meant to be orange bubble gum. Um, well, I haven't sniffed it, but it smells, it does smell slightly like bubble gum in very fractional like oranges. Taste for me, um, I'm not overly impressed with this one, if I'm honest with you. It, the orange. Doesn't seem to be very strong, and the bubble gum doesn't seem to be too strong either, um, which is weird because in the other ones we've done like watermelon bubble gum, bubble gum itself, the bubble gum's still been there, and the watermelon one, for example, was um, sorry, in the watermelon one, it was a uh, quite strong watermelon and a decent amount of bubble gum. In this, so far from what I've got, I mean, this is a new coil. Worms obviously re dripping, so this may change in a minute when I'm not open trust and correct me because no doubt I'm being a plum, but. At the minute, for me, the orange isn't all that strong and the bubble gum isn't coming through too much. Um, I am getting a little bit more throat hit off this one. Not massively, it's about four. Um, but compared to the other DIY premix e juices that we've had, it's not as as low uh, on throat hit as they are. Vape off it um, seems okay. Um, it doesn't taste like orange bubble gum. Um, doesn't, does it? No, I, I'm trying to pinpoint what it would taste like to something that people every day eat or saying. Um, Nothing. Um, to, I'm going to jump in. Do you know what this, rem this reminds me of right at this particular moment in time? A mildly pleasant soap, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like an orange soap. I don't want to make orange soap. <laughs> it's, it's not bubble gum. It's really, it smells uh, like bubble gum, and now and again you get a very little hint of bubble gum, but it's not. I, I think you hit the nail on the head with. It tastes kind of soapy. Mm. Not the. This is. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. It's. <sighs> don't get me wrong, I've tried worse e liquids. I've mixed worse e liquids. He's actually tasted very washed up liquid. I did try and cleanse some hanging heads out once, and they were. Very liquidified, uh, and, and <laughs> I still to this day, four months on, can't use that wash up liquid without heaving. So it has affected me deeply, emotionally, and physically. But um, this, this, it's not as bad as that by any means. No, 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 it's not like a horrible. So it just feels 
soapy more than the taste really it does taste fractionally soapy it's very yeah, it's, it's very strange i'd see now for once i picked this out and had high expectations like <laughs> i literally just picked this out pulled it out when was like orange bubble gum sweet i was thinking so we've not long ago done the watermelon bubble gum uh and obviously the original bubble gum we did the first one was pretty damn good so i kind of just got to that point you always you just start to trust it and it fucks you with a flaming fist <laughs> um it's yeah, isn't it? It's just just got to a point where I thought, you know, what? I don't even think I'm going to worry about this liquid. I I am comfortable. It's going to taste like orange and bubble gum. It it doesn't really taste like orange <laughs> bubble gum. <laughs> I, I don't know really. You've got to say, throw it. It is. Uh, throw it for me. I'll to be honest, I won't get any off of it. I have no intended to use. No intended to use. It is a seven. This um. bloody thing, honestly, guys. If you're one of our regular subs, there is a follow up coming. Don't you worry about it. Bloody A7. <laughs> Are you getting up? 9.9? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, guys, uh, out of 10, um, two of what I think it tastes like. I'm not saying that I would want to make it Um What it's meant to taste like? Well, I've got to say one because it does taste soapy instead of orange bubblegum. It doesn't taste what it's meant to. I mean, there is a slight undertone of orange every now and again, and a slight undertone of bubblegum every now and then. But overall, it's just a little soapy. It does. It does. I mean, technical issues aside, which I am having in spades, by the way. Um, for me, I don't think the ratings is quite as low as that. I mean, for what it's meant to taste like, it does taste slightly like light orange and slightly like bubblegum soap. So... <laughs> um, it's, for what it's meant to taste like, it's like a three. It's not the worst deal liquid I've tried ever by a long way. I've tried a hell of a worse than this, but it is very, very, very far from the best. Um, in terms of what I think of it, I mean, would I vape it? If I had like this or reggae night, then I'd definitely vape this. <laughs> <laughs> or if I had this and all I was very liquid, then you better believe that I'm picking up on you. But honestly, would I buy it, having just tasted it? Not a chance. Not a chance. Not when um, the bubblegum, original like standard bubblegum, is lovely, lovely stuff. The watermelon bubblegum's wicked. The orange and pineapple's banging. This is um, not living up to uh, to what I had just about come to think was the DIY premix name. Um, I mean, this, this hopefully one's falling this a bit short. Maybe... The grape is nicer than this, for sure. Maybe this one's just a tainted one or something. We don't know. It, it can happen. It can happen, but if it is happening, it shouldn't be, in which case, I don't want to buy your liquid if it is tainted, because why is it tainted? Um, but but they do get their flavourings from America, so maybe it was just tainted on that that's, end. That's it, so we've, here. we've just aff potentially offended people in Malaysia mixing these liquids who've made well, them, we offend everyone. their heart and soul into it, and it's, yeah, 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 it ain't all right. Now like, ah, and now the Americans are going to bastards, and now so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm trying to give you an honest review. It's I mean, working again. It could be it could be anything. We don't know what it is. It may that may be the way it's meant to taste. It if it is, we ain't gonna buy it. And I can't give it a good review. It is soapy. I mean vapor, vapor off of it is pretty good, so like an eight out of ten for, for, for seventy thirty, but it's not all that and now it's not working again. Oh come on, I just wanna try it. My A7's playing up. Honestly. Sorry guys. <laughs> if you haven't watched that A seven review, please do and then ignore Everything. Most ignore the bit where I say the centre pin's not an issue. Um, the adjustable centre pin is an issue. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys, this has been the orange bubblegum review. We ain't gonna recommend it to you guys. Don't don't buy this one. The other ones that are, we've said are good, all good are awesome, but this one's not good. Um, it's not bad, but a bit of a downer really because they were yeah these these were coming for absolutely smashing these flavours. They were sweeping us off our feet basically. Well, as of now, of all the ones we've tried, this will be the last one that gets raped as of now. So, yeah, we'll see We'll see what the next one has in store for us. But, um, yeah, this has been the Orange and orange and It's Orange Bubblegum-ish um, uh, review. If you want to follow us on Twitter, we did mention a minute ago, um, it's at Worm, all lowercase, N, big N, and then Proton, all lowercase. Uh, and Facebook is Worm and, which is the ampersand and not the word and, Proton, chase it, and it's chasing the perfect vape. You'll see it there. It's got a little purple sign, chemistry ball thing as its emblem. Um, so please feel free to do that. We are going to link um, vapors.com.my into the description for you to take you straight to the page if you want to go on and check it out. 
Uh, maybe skip past this one, but the other ones that we said are good, really nice. They are really good. Really good. So please give us the good ones again and not be all shit now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have been uh, Mr. Proton, and this has been The Worm. Thank you, guys. Catch you soon. soon.